Hi everyone, it's time for our read aloud for today. This book is called Sleepy the Goodnight Buddy. It's a funny favorite of everyone around here. We've got some home audience members ready to hear the story. We've got Scarlett and Sawyer and Mr. Siakis in the background listening. And, oh, and, and this stuffed animal, Sadie. Um, and Scouty is just off on his own right now. So he's, he's missing, don't do that. He's missing today's read aloud. Okay, so this is called Sleepy the Goodnight Buddy and it's written by Drew Daywalt. He's the same author that wrote um, The Day the Crayons Quit and then The Day the Crayons Came Back. Okay, Sleepy the Goodnight Buddy. Roderick hated going to bed. Each night he would think of every possible excuse to try to stay up longer. Sometimes he would ask for another story. Sometimes he would ask for a drink of water. Hmm, that sounds like my house. Sometimes he would ask for a pony. He never got a pony, but that's okay because he didn't really want one. He just wanted to stay up, even if it was just to hear all the reasons why he couldn't have a pony. And there were a lot of reasons. We don't have a barn. Ponies won't use a litter box. Ponies hog the bed. Ponies watch the TV too loud. Ponies never do dishes. Ponies eat toys. Ponies borrow books and never return them. Ponies blah, 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 blah. But he would always ask for something, anything, just to stay up a little bit longer. Roderick's parents decided to get him a good night buddy to help him sleep. Thumbs up if you have somebody that you sleep with, a stuffed animal. That doesn't keep mm -hmm. him. Okay, well, let's see. He couldn't decide whether it looked more like a moose or like a bear. His name is Sleepy, said his mother. He's your good night buddy, said his father. He's going to help you fall asleep. Hmm. That night, Roderick's parents put Sleepy in bed with him, but Sleepy kept staring at him. He tried stashing him on the bookshelf, behind the curtains, and even under his pillow. But no matter where Roderick put him, he could feel Sleepy looking at him. Finally, Roderick picked him up and tossed him into the closet. Wait, said a quiet little voice from the darkness. Don't leave me alone in here. Huh? You're alive. Of course I'm alive. I couldn't very well talk if I weren't alive, could I? Well, why didn't you talk earlier instead of just staring at me like that? I was too scared. Of what? Of you. You were staring at me all freaky looking. That's because you freaked me out. I was only staring at you all freaky looking because you were staring at me all freaky looking. <laughs> See, you're doing it again. You're freaking me out. <laughs> You're supposed to be my good night buddy. You're supposed to help me sleep, you know. I am? Yes. Oh, okay. Can I please have a glass of water? What? But it's bedtime. I know, but I'm thirsty. And then we can go to sleep. I promise. So Sleepy's asking for water now. Thanks for the water. You're welcome, Sleepy. I don't think you're that freaky looking at more. <clears throat> That's nice. I don't think you are either. Now go to sleep. I can't. Why not? I have to pee, you know, from all the water. So go. I'm scared to go alone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? I forgot to brush my teeth. <laughs> So Can I have a story? That always puts me to sleep. I can't sleep without one. Who does Sleepy sound like now? Roderick. Roderick. One day in class, Duncan went out to take his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. He's reading the day the crayons quit. <clears throat> Can I have one more? Just one, please. I promise that's all I need. Once upon a time, there was a witch with a very big butt. In fact, it was so big when she... 
Your closet is scary. There's a witch in it with a big butt. Can you check the closet for witches? There are no witches in the closet. Oh, fine. Yes, check for witches. Sure. And the book is called A Witch's Booty. Can I have a snack? A snack? It's the middle of the night. I know, but I'm hungry. Oh, no. Now what? I have to brush my teeth again. It's too dark in here. Now it's too light. What? What, what? What do you mean, what, what? You know darn well what, what. You're going to ask me for something else. What do you want now? I wasn't going to ask for anything, but now I can't sleep because you're mad at me. I'm not mad. You sound mad. That sounds like you're mad. I'm not mad, just tired. Okay, I'm a little mad, but mostly I'm tired. Well, I can't sleep even if you're a little mad. Then I'm not mad. I don't know. That still sounds mad. <clears throat> I need a blankie. You don't have a blankie. Can I have a blankie? Good night, Roderick. Good night, sleepy. I know you're gonna hate me for saying this, but does this pillow seem too hard for you? It seems really hard. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Yeah, maybe it's just me. You ever wonder what it all means? I mean, are we just puppy puppets living out some master puppeteer's plan or? <laughs> Sleepy, it's time for bed. Now go to sleep. I'm sorry, Roderick. I guess I'm just not a very good good night buddy. Are you kidding? You're the worst good night buddy ever. You're supposed to take my mind off scary things to help me sleep, but instead you're just exhausting me. <laughs> Roderick? Hey, Roderick. Good night, buddy. So in the end, <clears throat> it worked. And even though it wasn't the way he thought, um, Sleepy did help Roderick fall asleep. So, um, so today I want you to think about what's something that helps you fall asleep? Because we all know that there are those nights when it's just not so easy. Is there something special that you sleep with? Is there something special that your parents do yes. for you? Um, is there something that you think about in your head? Do you practice mindfulness? What is it that helps you, just like Sleepy, helped Roderick?